going to need some great coats for that as yeah. tomorrow looks to be quite chilly. Tomorrow is going mm. to be quite chilly. Yes. The only saving grace today was the sun. When yeah. you were out in the sun, it actually didn't mm -hmm. feel too bad. It's still a strong yeah, solar all. angle in mm -hmm. November. But tomorrow, we're going to have the sun. Temperatures are going to be just as chilly as today. Tomorrow, saving grace, though, as compared with today, the wind is not going to be quite as strong. So today, winds were whipping about 30 miles an hour at times. Tomorrow, virtually no wind and that means it will feel a little bit better even though temperatures are still very far below average. The worst of the cold is actually tonight. That's when we don't have the sun to help us out. Winds are dying down a little bit so that does help. But if you're out and about tonight in Bethlehem, you can see the flags are still flying there on the Hotel Bethlehem and everybody is bundled up. They got the hats, the scarves, the gloves and the winter coats. All those have been emerging from the closets across the area. The dust kind of brushed off from last winter and everybody bundling up for the first time in quite some time. Storm scan three shows clear skies all across much of the northeast. We have some lake effect snow squalls here over portions of Ohio into western Pennsylvania. Nothing expected here. We don't have any lakes to speak of and the wind's not strong enough to bring any of those squalls far enough east. So we've got clear conditions tonight and tomorrow, but with the clear sky and the winds dropping again, that's a recipe for some very, very cold condition. So it's 28 in Allentown right now below freezing already in Lancaster, Reading, Trenton, Mount Pocono's at 16 and Philadelphia. We're down to 33 likely to hit freezing in the next hour. Temperatures right now 16 in International Falls, 14 in Winnipeg, 14 in Musoni. Can see a little bit of a warm up here though. See the green creeping into the Rockies. That's the end of it. So we are going to see a little bit more moderation by the end of the weekend and into the early part of next week. Your forecast lows for tonight though. Mount Pocono 11. That's the record. Mount Pocono may tie a record tonight. Philadelphia, our forecast low 23. The record is 21. Atlantic City will drop to 25. Wildwood could go down to 19. Maybe a little milder than that. 23 again, Allentown. 24 is what you wake up to in Trenton. So near record cold. Again, our forecast low for the city is 23. Here's the record 21. Set back in 1961. That record has been around for quite some time, but looks like we may challenge it tonight. Likely not going to break it, but we'll get close. It's a big cold Canadian high that's centered over the region as we head into your Saturday. That's going to keep us dry. You can see a couple of showers back here that could creep in Sunday evening, but most of the weekend is precipitation free. Tonight is the coldest part of it, though, and we'll challenge those record lows early tomorrow morning. So what to expect for your Saturday? A frigid morning, a very cold afternoon, but again, not as windy. Wind chills in the 30s as opposed to the 20s. It'll likely feel about 10 degrees warmer than today, which is still feeling like winter, but not quite as winter like as today felt. Overnight mainly clear wind chills in the teens. 23 is the overnight low. Your Saturday is sunny and cold. 41, the average high 58, well below average. And if you're headed Penn State fans to State College this weekend for Penn State Rutgers, well, it is going to be cold, freezing at kickoff at noon, bright and sunny, but you'll have to layer up. I remember many, many cold walks to class in State College. It seems like a little bubble of cold <laughs> in central Pennsylvania. <laughs> Next week looks a little milder. We'll be pushing 60 again by Thursday. So the good news about this little cold snap, it's only two days. Right. And then we're back to normal. That's the rally cry. Layer up. Yep. Let's go. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, Kate. All right.